That could have been really bad. Oh. All over my life. We our windshield wipers are pretty crap. It's happening again. <laughs> it's come to this. A little dodgy in some parts. Yay! Steep grades. And we got another one. Ew. We've made it to Montana. We lived! We made it! <laughs> yeah! Off the magic dragon. Hey then. Yeah. <laughs> hey then. Dude, when you start singing Pop the Magic Dragon, you know you're, you're too far <laughs> gone. There's no coming back on a road trip. RV life, van life, life on the road, has a tendency to be overly romanticized and appear less mundane than regular life. In many of the videos in our RV Life series, we show bucket list destinations and some of the best RV parks and RV resorts in the country. This is so nice. I mean, we do show our mishaps, but there's a lot that happens behind the scenes that doesn't make it into our videos. And maybe the main reason behind that is we think others just won't find it that interesting. So here's a different kind of video showing the realities of full-time RV life and how it's truly a blend of a lot of things. Oh, yes. It's a mix of working on our computers in the trailer or cafes, having long drive days, trying our very best to avoid snow and freezing temps and make it west for winter, home cooking the majority of our meals, exercising the best way we can, and exploring and spending time in the outdoors while constantly performing maintenance on our car and rig. Um, this is exciting. Sunday, 100% snow. It's happening again. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like, isn't that home alone when the mom's like, it happened again. Yeah. Get a little momentum right now, you know what I'm saying? Put a little, little heavy on that right foot. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can do it. Come Maybe on. Maybe I can draft behind this truck. <laughs> it has been such a long day of editing. I've only seen the sunlight twice. <laughs> we started at 7 a.m. this morning. It is now almost 8.20 and Nathan is still going strong. We're trying to get this video up by tomorrow. But yeah, I'm in our cute little kitchen cooking. Nathan has requested a salad. So I'm making that now. Oh my God, can you tell that we like kimchi? They're so freaking good. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Nathan, dinner is served. Oh, that looks great. Thank you. Is it good? Mm -hmm. That's good. Well, it's been a parking lot, really, that we paid almost $60 for. And I will go on record saying it's probably our least favorite RV park experience. A little dodgy in some parts. There were some interesting explosions going off at night, some weird characters outside. And a but, train just going off every two Oh hours. my god, yeah. So I think I would have felt fine if we paid like 25 or 30 bucks for it, but we might as well just boondocked out in Billings, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Nathan is in line for Mountain Mud, and I am driving the trailer. So we got unlucky, couldn't fit without cutting people off on the road. So Nathan is in line for that morning cup of joe. Taking one from the team. After an underwhelming RV park experience in Billings, Montana, we made our way to Livingston to be close to Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone's Edge RV Your destination is on the left. We're coming in a little bit here. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaking beautiful! We're on the river. Yeah. Oh, here comes a guy with a clipboard, probably ready to help you. It is just freaking wild. <laughs> Nathan's gotta film me. I'm getting all the angles. 
Well done, Nathan, well done. We like what we saw. Seems so strong. Can you get that laundry? Get that, get that laundry. Smart? Nails black. That good, good. Nails. <laughs> After another morning spent editing, we decided to spend an afternoon in the very charming town of Livingston in southwestern Montana. We stopped for coffee, did a little walk around, and shopped. With the Absaroka Mountains as a dramatic backdrop and the Yellowstone River running through it, Olivia and I may go as far as to call it one of America's most beautiful small towns. We've made it to Bozeman and RV Park has something super cool that is pretty rare and we didn't even know it was included. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> the best night because it's been like warm all the other nights and tonight it's freezing so it's pretty nice. As we're entering this valley the first thing I'm noticing is the density of trees is going way up. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I can tell that Nathan is a little bit nervous this morning because we decided to commit to the Grand Tetons. This whole morning I've just been trying to figure out what the easiest, chillest route is. And I'm a little bit frustrated because this, this flattest route website is has been letting me down. We have to make it over one tiny pass, supposedly nothing more than a six, maybe 7% grade. Should be okay, uh, but still a bit nervous. I just wanna minimize the amount of work this truck has to do because it does struggle sometimes. All right, here we go, 6% <laughs> grade. It's not too bad. No. So down this 6% uh, grade, I have my toy haul mode on, and then I'm in third, and I basically just have my feet off the gas or the brake, I'm just letting it cruise down, and then every once in a while when we pick up a little bit of speed, I'm just pumping my brakes just a little bit and letting off, but honestly, the truck is doing just fine. Like, the 6% grade is nothing. It's more when we get over 10% that I get nervous. We made it! <laughs> Safe and sound! Man, and look at these teepees. This is the first, first thing we're seeing here. Look at these Teton teepees. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And stop. That's perfect. That's perfect. So you adjusted perfect at the end. I did good. I feel like whenever you can actually see what you're doing though, yeah, it helps. you get it down like pretty quick. So yeah, pretty good. Nice. I like that this is also a concrete slab. Yay. Keeps that no nice dirt and tidy. or sand in there. Yeah, exactly. Love that. <laughs> First day of the season, busting out the no freeze. This thing is friggin' awesome. It's so heavy duty, and I'm so grateful that we have one of these. 
And the first thing I noticed when we got to our campsite, they have this to plug in because they also have their pipes wrapped and that's so that this won't freeze. Heck yeah. Yay. We're in business. No more frozen hoses for us. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, is it? Oh, uh, that's okay. Oh my god, dude, the windshield is completely frozen over. That could have been really bad. It could have been very dangerous. Yeah. Um, so basically, our windshield wipers are pretty crap, and you can see it's not even getting this spot right here. We actually have issues with our heating in this car. Everything was just kind of failing, and we couldn't see. The rain turned into snow so quickly. We're only 20 miles out, but. Um, I don't think it's safe for us to drive in this. No. We're gonna have to wait it out. I think we have a while of snow. The area that we're in now, we're going through canyons in Utah, and there's no lights on the road, like maybe one every few miles. We got to a point where it's completely dark. We can see very faint red lights, but we just see literally, it's just like heaps and heaps and heaps of snow coming down. It's just really scary, but I guess we're just gonna wait it out even though I think it's gonna snow for the next like seven, eight hours. You can see it's it's much less frosted out. This is still, it's still taking it's the heater. But look, our heater is really We lived! We made it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yep, yep. Looks good. Yeah, you're hitting trees, but I think, yeah, keep going, keep going. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nicely done. Yay. It's been a six hour drive day, and we made a stop at Costco and shot for an hour so we'd have food because we're kind of in an area where things are far away. But, I don't know why I'm talking about that. <laughs> Last night may have been traumatic, <laughs> but this moment is gorgeous. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> I drove in the, the snow, snow without visibility. <laughs> <laughs> See these people, they have a skirt on and they also have a no freeze hose, but not many other people over there do. So far, I haven't seen anybody with the black one that we have, the actual no freeze hose. Ours is the best by far. I think so. It really is. It works so good. I just walked by and I touch it, it's like warm. Yeah. I'm like, hell yeah. This hose saved our butts last night. This right here to the touch is warm. I have these pigtails you can kind of see wrapped around and then we've used tape and this is our beautiful <laughs> no freeze water hose. You can just feel this, like it's so well made. I felt the other camp goes. I'm just saying, this is on a whole different military grade level. <laughs> got Marshall Mathers out here. <laughs> I can barely hear you, but I think I know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> We're deep Slim in eight miles. <laughs> oh, I gotta pause this. Yo, hurry up, cause I'm freezing. My toes are freaking cold. This is something I think I took for granted when we were living in a house. Is like, because we can't work out inside and being outside, I think right now it's like 20 degrees. Like, this is the stuff that makes me mentally stronger, you know? Who's gonna carry the boats and the logs? My hands are so cold and I really didn't want to do this, but I forced myself. Yeah! The rest is history. Covered in hail. <laughs> 